Each week on Taiwan by Number, we introduce a facet of Taiwan via a number. And today we're going to talk about the animals at the Taipei Zoo. <laughs> so I want to ask Andrew a question. So Andrew, um, how many animals do you think are at the Taipei Zoo? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't have to give me an exact number. I was afraid you were going to ask yeah. this. <laughs> how many animals, animals. at the Taipei oh, Zoo? Besides the insects and the fish, okay? Beside the insects and fish. <laughs> well, I, I feel comfortable just randomly guessing because okay. I have no idea. I'm going to say 3,200. And that includes all the birds that land in the trees. <laughs> Okay, we'll find out in a moment. Okay. But let's take a look at this video about the newest animal to come to the Taipei Zoo. All right. Taipei Zoo's newest house guest is furry and has a big pair of round eyes. Her name is Hira and she's an ai ai, a species of lemur native to Madagascar. Hira is on loan from Ueno Zoo in Tokyo and she arrived in Taiwan on July 1st. Ai Ai's are the world's largest nocturnal primate, and their diets consist mostly of insects. Their name means a song in Malagasy. Zoo official Xie Xinyi says that Malagasy people believe these animals resemble demons and that their appearance is often an omen. Once thought to be extinct, Ai Ai's are listed as an endangered species. Ai Ai's are poached, resulting in a dwindling population. There are only 57 Ai Ai's in captivity. In order to ensure a smooth handover, the Taipei Zoo sent its own staff to learn about the animal's habitats beforehand. Hira is now accompanied by a team of experts from Japan to help her get settled in her temporary home. So isn't that I.I. cute? It's very cute. So I actually talked to the zoo this week and they said they're going to try to find a mate for it. Oh. And if they do and if they both adjust well and have a baby here, the whole family can stay in Taiwan. But if they can't, they have to go back? Well, well if they can't adjust well, then they, they uh, should go back, right? Yeah. But I did ask you how many animals there were. <laughs> and you know, this number changes every day. Does that make sense? There's some being born, some die. Yes, yes. So actually, we only have a rough ballpark, ballpark number. Let's okay. take a look. All right. Oh, wow. So over 2,000. Okay. So you... You're kind of close, I well, guess. I was going to say 20,000, <laughs> so like, you know. 20,000. <laughs> Glad I reeled it in. Right. Now I have another question. Okay. About animals. How many types of animals do you think there are at the Taipei Zoo? How many types of animals? Right. Like we can have five giraffes, 10 giraffes, but how many types of animals? Okay, so if there are 2,000 animals total, I'm going to say there are probably <laughs> no more than three of each. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, so, I'll say there's like a thousand. Okay, let's take a look at this answer. Oh. So, only 300. Well, 300 is a lot, actually. Actually, you know what? I feel good about 300 because that means it's like whole families. Right, it's not maybe like, like five <laughs> to 10 of each, right? Good, good. See those cute little like swans? Other animals that speak the same language. That's right. nice. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. Okay, so we have some more questions for you. Okay. Now, our most famous animal is Yuan Zai, the panda that was born at the Taipei Zoo, and she just had her birthday this week. How old is she, Andrew? I think I know the answer to this okay. one. I think she is six. All right, let's take a look. Yes, you're right, Andrew. <laughs> look at that birthday cake. Thank you. That is a cute birthday Isn't it? cake. She didn't eat that, did she? She it's must made have. of her favorite food, like just fruit and, oh. you know, plants and everything. So it is edible. Of course. Okay, good, yes. good, good. Now, did you know that the Taipei Zoo is one of the 10 largest zoos in the world? Ten largest? Yes. Wait, did you just give me the answer? No. <laughs> but how large is it in terms of hectares? Oh, Natalie. <laughs> I'm going to say it is. <laughs> I'm going to say it's um, five hectares. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the answer. Oh, I mean, that's what I meant. 165 <laughs> hectares. <laughs> that wouldn't make it the largest thing. <laughs> One of the largest in Asia and the world. It's like the price is right. You choose a small number and everything above that is right, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we'll go on to the next question. Okay. This is about the life of Pi. What? The, <laughs> the, movie, the movie, The Life of Pi. Okay. Directed by Ang Lee. It was shot in Taiwan. Uh-huh. Okay, people didn't know that. Well, some people didn't know that. It was actually shot at the Taipei Zoo, the opening scene. The first four minutes of the zoo animals were shot at the Taipei Zoo. Really? Yes. I knew it was shot partially in Taiwan. I didn't know it was shot at the zoo. Yes. The, okay. It was a beautiful scene. And uh, there are lots of animals. How many animals were in that scene? Types of animals. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too late to pull out my iPad and start looking at the movie? 
I'm going to say there were 10 animals. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Actually, you're really close. Oh, wow, nine. It's nine. Yeah. Okay. Nine types of animals, and the flamingos were one of them. And now I want to go back and rewatch the beginning of that it's movie. It's really, it's a beautiful scene. You should really check it out. All right. And the movie won an Academy Award for Best Cinematography, mm -hmm. so I'm um, also the Best Director. Okay, one more question, okay. and this is exciting. The Taipei Zoo just opened its rainforest house this week. Oh. It's a new house that um, they've been working on for 13 years to build. 13 years? Yes, it wow. has a rainforest in it, and in it are some endangered animals, and also you can see sloths and endangered animals. I love sloths. They are cute, so and cute. you can see them up close. Now, my question is, and this is one other reason to visit the zoo, mm -hmm. how much is an entrance, a ticket to get into the zoo? Oh, okay. I know it's really inexpensive. Yeah. Like, incredibly inexpensive when you look at what you get for that price. Right, and what other zoos around the world cost. I think it must be like 250 NT. So That's, like $9, Let's take $8. a look. It's only 60 NT. What? That's for an adult, and for a student, it's only 30 NT. What? One US dollar for a student, two US dollars for an adult. That's amazing. So, that is a bargain. Isn't that a great reason, another great reason to go to the Taipei Zoo? I'm going to have to go and check it out. And you can check out the sloths up close. Yeah, moving very <laughs> slowly. Very cool. I'm going to have to do that. So, um, well, that is our Taiwan by number for this week.